two years of work and all it takes is one person to come out and say, eh. Don't do this, it was cute. Gets very distracted with lights and sound, guys. Our man here is very simple. <laughs> It is an actors on actors session. Uh, it's not, uh, you know, some crazy entertainment session where we're going to get up and dance. And so, uh, listen if you can. If you find it boring, just don't boo us. It's not one of those sessions. You can walk out also. Um, yeah. And I hope we can make it interesting. I, 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 I hope uh, you make it interesting. And I think we should both... Uh, okay. Stay away from questions that journalists ask us. Okay, so um, Ali Fazal uh, is, according to me, one of the best actors we have today. Why do I say that? I've repeated it multiple times. Because it's, I have not seen someone in recent times who can put off, pull off a Guddu Pandit and a Death on the Nile and a Victoria and Abdul and a Ray and a Khufia all in a span of under two, three years. It takes incredible range and incredible presence of mind and a lot of empathy. I think to be an actor, you need to have empathy. So let's start at the very beginning. I know uh, that the world thinks that you debuted in 2009 with that little song in uh, Three Idiots, I wouldn't say little because it became like an anthem. Give me some sunshine, give me some rain. Hana, Mr. Lobo, how you got that part? What were you doing? I think you were doing some play around then. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I don't remember how uh, Raju Rani sir found me for that, uh, that role. But I do remember reaching the office well, I had my biggest issue on that film was uh, that I was wearing my own shirt and sir wanted me to keep wearing that for the part. We check shirt. My biggest issue was film that he was going to shirt in the shirt. Because I had a scene where I had to hang, so had, you know, they had to put the harness. So my mind was not going to happen in my mind. Ki, Amir Khan and this and that. My shirt was going to shirt. <laughs> oh, I fashion street se liya tha maine, idhar, aage, udhar, town hall mein. But senti sentimental. Oh, mere... tumhari garibi ke bhi din thi, I can Haan. imagine. Haan. 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 Wo third year college tha, uh, when we shot it. And I think usi time Raju sir winter ho raha tha Bangalore mein. And he gave me a jacket also, sort of feeling a little pity for me. But but yeah, I mean it was the, it was a great experience. That was not my first film. My first film was uh, a film with Saeed Akhtar Mirza. Uh, I think the film is still lying somewhere in FTII. I have not seen it. <laughs> it's not released, unfortunately. The film was called Ek Tho Chance. Ah, Even I have not seen it. The original name was Mumbai Meri Jaan. Then Ek Tho Chance. Ho gaya. Uska trailer is on YouTube. Pe but uh, Saeed Sahib, matlab, you know, he's been a great mentor. He's, uh, for a lot of you who don't know Saeed Akhtar Mirza, he directed Dukkar, Albert Pinto, Gussa Kyu Aata Hai, Salim Langale, some iconic... Uh, he's a legend. If you legend. can, look up his work and watch what he's made. And written. Read his books. Books are also wild, brilliant, brilliant writer. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... You don't get to ask all the questions, do you? Chal, ek ek kar lete hai. Ah. Okay. Ek tum pooch lo. Okay, so I don't have a format for this, but I've always wondered, uh, and this is me coming again from being your greatest champion, hopefully, at least in my head, I feel that. And a big fan, I, I remember seeing you, of course, I saw you in Oi Lucky and all. Um, Oi Lucky was your first, all right? And you, you came into the scene with such a, I mean, Brilliant part. Of course, it was on a very uh, sad day in Bombay when the attacks had happened. It had premiered that time. Uh, and then after that, immediately after that, you did Gangs. Now, I haven't, I hadn't seen a performance like that before in India. Someone with that kind of range, 
even an age range for an actor where we are in even till now we are in times where actors shy away from uh you know diving into those aspects ki okay i'm going to play uh, an older part and a younger part in the same film um how did you find that transition i'm sorry i'm coming straight at it how did you um find that 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 this was the start of your brilliant career i mean now that you look back the thing is i only got gangs of vasipur guys uh, there's no romantic story here i only got the part i think because a lot of other actresses said no to it and now in retrospect i understand why they said no but i was a 23 year old being called into anurag kashyap's office being told that okay he's making this mammoth film and you know there were a lot of big names also in contention the studio wanted someone well known of course aur mujhe 2 lakh rupaye mile the us film ke liye matlab kuch 90 days of shoot conveyance bhi nahi niklega usme aajkal but i think i only got that part because a lot of people turned it down and when i say i understand why they turned it down is because i as much as it helped my career as much as it made people aware about me it also severely stereotyped me and for the next 3 or 4 years after that so i'm saying ab mujhe samajh mein aata hai why those women said no because for the longest part everyone was like i mean it's not fun to be wearing shorts at 24 and being called bezel ki amma when clearly you know you can look at nawaz and you know you are having that chat with him and understanding and all the other actors in the film are also aging the men are aging manoj bajpai is aging he is shaving his head nawaz is aging vineet kumar singh is aging piyush mishra is aging huma kureish is aging but this burden of age that fell on my shoulders simply because i chose to do that part well and give it my all was something i didn't understand especially at that age i don't know if much has changed right now okay because you do still see people doing whatever but uh but i i'm still very grateful for that part but it now took me to can it took me uh everywhere it gave me a career i'm very grateful that the filmmakers took a chance on me uh even though i took a chance on the film too so does that does that also because of the the evolved person you are now i as i see it um does that matter now that we as actors like when we play a part you know and i mean any actor right we don't know what the final perception will be the final product will be right it, everything else is in somebody else's hands like all you have is that on that day you walk in on set and you do your bit and you leave and is that scary now or is it always going to be a scary notion or you still you you pass that you're like wait i'm going to do my stuff and move next but the thing is i've always prioritized getting the good parts like even if it's risky uh, even a part like bholi punjaban is risky it shuts you off in many categories as managers tell you wo kya bolte hain aapko beauty ki category band ho jayegi theek hai ab tawa pressure cooker bindi lipstick nahi bech paoge aap shampoo conditioner nahi bech paoge koi hunter bechna hoga then they will come to you as an actor to endorse that so some parts are very risky commercially but are they iconic parts yes are they path breaking parts and there are no other written parts like that for women yes so i chose to go in that direction and then i guess the fear is always there in how the audience accepts you how they perceive you uh but having said that uh a film is forever so i feel like main kuch aur bech lungi but like these parts you know they will create a change and that change will be beyond my years why i chose to do that part in gangs of vasipur also as nagma khatu i wanted to be relevant beyond my youth and beauty when you play an older part in your first Glitchy. film you're sort of saying a big f you to the you know standard i notions of what it means to be a heroine so i chose to look at it that way i chose to take the longer route and uh, 
that's always been my thing. If you call it evolved or whatever, just having a bird's eye notion of what this film, this part will do eventually for female parts is more important for me. Just two have been. One last. One last. You said films last, right? And parts last. You, when you look back now, you ever wonder? I mean, we all have regrets, right? I'm sure everybody has regrets. And you'd be lying if you don't have regrets. And it's okay to have regrets. Do you look back sometimes? I mean, I know I, if I by chance see a, a film of mine playing on TV, like five seconds stops. I can't watch it further than that. I always feel like today I would have done done it differently. Do you do you feel that? Or is there any one particular part that you feel, um, you know, you would have done very very differently? And what? There are parts that I think I would have done differently today because of the person that I am. But with my maturity at that point, where I was in my life at that point, you know, sharing a flat with two, three other girls, going for auditions, driving my little Sandro around, you know, from where I was in my life at that point, those parts, how I played them, is absolutely how I would play them at that age. But today, if you ask me, of course, we are more involved and things have changed. Where were you born and raised? No, you know this, and they can look it up. So, so, hang on, guys. In two thousand nine, Ali Fazal did a film called Always Kab Kabhi. Okay, which was a part like a high school romance. Don't do this. It was cute. It was about a guy who's trying to do this play. Right, and it was directed by Roshan Abbas. I've seen it, by the way. And you were very good in it. You were also very cute in it. Uh, I want to uh, ask you: Did it ever strike you that as a newcomer and an outsider, mind you, a newcomer as an outsider, you are kind of being launched not once but twice by two mega stars, Amir Khan? In three idiots and Shah Rukh Khan in always, kabi kabi. That's cute. What's cute about it? Okay. I, I mean, for me, when I saw you, uh, like, uh, when I saw that film, when I saw always, kabi kabi, when the the announcement had come that oh, this is the same guy. I remember I was sitting with someone. They were like, हाँ ये वो ही है वो लड़का ऐसा हो गया अभी इसने weight lose किया बाल छोटे किए कुछ कुछ and now he's doing uh, always, kabi kabi. And I was like, "Wow, Shah Rukh Khan is launching him! My God!" No, I think I think that that's been one of my biggest lessons in life. Uh, the film came, it released with seven other films, uh, and it bombed. <laughs> and it bombed like that. That's I could give a lot of stand-ups like competition. <laughs> uh, it just like wiped out. So I I was very naive. I didn't understand. Cinema well. I was studying. I was doing my uh, economics and all that. Uh, and I, I, uh, I'd started doing theatre. This was suddenly very out of the way, very cool. You're getting launched and blah 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 and uh, great bunch. And suddenly does nothing. And so I was so naive. I actually messaged the trade analyst on Twitter. I said, "Apne my number nahi likhe." So very sweetly sent me a message on the side saying, "Bida, अच्छे नहीं हैं." So I realized कि ये भी होता है कि वो अच्छा, you know, you're not mentioned because your numbers are not good. आपने कमाया नहीं हैं. So वो that hit me कि oh my god, like we've put in two years. There's some reshoots also happened. Two years of work and all it takes is one person to come on and say. Eh. You know, or yeah, that was shit. Or whatever. It was. It didn't work. I mean, blah, blah. it also like the fact that you didn't get good shows. That seven other films were releasing. There's twenty other things. There's. That's what I'm trying to get at. There are so many factors to it. That that could not be the point that defined me. But every point after that started to define me, and I was aware of every every point in time after that day. But you never once felt special that two of the, the countries. Or Bollywood's biggest mega stars took a chance on you in some way. I did. I mean, it was it was nice. They were, I think, more than special. I felt like they were great mentors at the time, uh, in that 
space and time. I'm going to segue into a, something that I know because I have an advantage here. When we just started dating, in one of his uh, early morning uh, anxiety filled uh, episodes, uh, Ali Fazal here has messaged one of these two megastars. I'm not going to name anyone, but actually received a very generous and very sane piece of advice. I'm saying, in this hall full of youngsters, would you like to repeat what you what you learned from that? Because it somehow stuck with me. No, I just realized that. That padhai, padhai mat chodna, because us vak meri ganit baat kaam aage. He just explained me numbers. He said, this is your marketability is not worth somebody putting in that much money on you. It was for something else, for a very cool film that came out and it, did, it was a big hit, blah, blah. But it was a true story, a biopic on somebody, on an athlete. Anyway, so, and I, I couldn't understand for the life of me, ki I, I nailed it. Like, I'm like, this is, I can't do better than this. I can't, maybe somebody else can. So, frustration I sent frustration. I asked what And that's when I got this answer. It's fine. It was, again, this is, you don't have to be smart uh, to understand this. This is basic. Maths, basic. I was, I think I was a bit dumb when I uh, back then. When you I'm were early a young college. actor, feeling yeah. a certain way, and I thought it was very sane and generous of that person to explain the math of show business. It is show business. Show biz. The biz stands for business, and you know I. Okay, okay, okay. I because I you asked me. I I don't know why it popped up. What is the concept of time for you? Time, time. What is the concept of time to me? I yeah. don't My view of time as an actor doesn't change from my view of time as a human being, right? Time is a human being's way of quantifying something infinite and endless into easily uh, understandable chunks with which they can operate. coffee that is time. Um, no, I asked because we as actors, we get to, we get to cage it, right? In every film, every show that we do, we get to, uh, like you said earlier also, these things are carried on for eternity. Ek dafa aapki print ho gai, that time is captured there, right? So, why I asked that was I wanted to get to a point in your career where you played a brilliant part uh, of Devi Patu in Masan, right? Now that was a very, I, and I knew you during that time. So, how did you manage that? Okay, this was every single, you've seen Masan, I'm sure, yeah, it's a great film, right? So, every frame of that film, every narrative in that film is etched for a very, very long time in cinematic history. You were party to, you know, capturing that time in that moment. How, how was that? The making of Devi, if I can call it. Well, uh, the thing is, I had an advantage because uh, Varun Grover was also on the sets of Gangs of Vasipur. And Neeraj Gevan was the continuity supervisor. So I knew that they were cooking something, they were writing something with me in mind. Uh, so I had that advantage there. But the uh, film was very difficult. It was a very low budget ki, garibi mein bani hui film. Thi, aur usme, my natural tendency is to not accept in, injustice in any way. So that, for me, that character was very difficult. Because she couldn't do anything. She was never able to respond. And I was so frustrated with all this repressed anger in that film. Uh, but I understand. You know, it taught me something about being a woman. And I'm not proud of it. But you look around and you read the newspaper. And you will read countless such stories where women have just accepted injustice 
biting their teeth full of rage, suppressing their emotions, their true feelings, and just gotten on with it. So Do you use that in all your performances? Do you like I use I used this. it in this one because there was no outlet for Devi. There is no redemption for the police character who is uh, blackmailing her father. I think it's true to reality. Kya yahan pe koi hai jiske saath kabhi bhi kuch galat nahi hua? So that's the thing. That feeling when something wrong happens to you and you feel helpless in the moment. You could be bullied, you could be lied to. So that experience was very difficult. Uh, and it was also very difficult for me because, uh, you know, uh, Vicky was in the film. Vicky had this lovely love track going. And literally every time someone would come and compliment me after the film, they would say, hey, Vicky is amazing in the film. आपका भी अच्छा था पर जब आप गुस्सा होते हो ना वो ज्यादा अच्छा लगता है सो आई वॉज लाइक और आई वुड गेट दिस फीडबैक दैट इसमें आपने एक्टिंग नहीं की ज्यादा है ना आई फॉर मी जस्ट केम टू मीन दैट हमारी जनता के लिए एक्टिंग वही है जिसमें थोड़ी चिल्लम चिल्ली है अगर उन्होंने मुझे गैंग्स ऑफ वासीपुर या फुकरे में गुस्सा होते या गाली देते देख लिया उनके लिए वही है मेरी एक्टिंग उनके लिए वही है जो मैं कर सकती हूँ और जो वो चाहते हैं कि मैं करूँ बार बार देर वॉज स्पेशल ट्रेलर फॉर मसान इन विच आई एम स्कोल्डिंग समन इन माई ऑफिस दैट आई कार्ड तुम्हें कार्ड दू की और समथिंग आई रिमेंबर दैट ट्रेलर बिकेम सो पॉपुलर बिकॉज सम हाउ आई गॉट आइडेंटिफाइड विद दैट रेंज 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 नॉट रेंज गुस्सा So, so it's uh, interesting. Again, we come to how audience perceives you, how the media perceives you. What happens once a work is out there in the public? It becomes the people's work. It does. You have a smell for every film, right? It's a fun fact, by the way. See, do you want to you want to tell everybody why why do you why do you buy a new perfume every time you you play a new part? And that's I've seen this. this is the, the most interesting thing see every time you do a new film there's suddenly a new fragrance in the house so yeah actually it's mostly it's fun you know you have a new fragrance for every part because aap jab vanity se nikalte hain end mein wo chhidak ke everyone gets to know your ad is your director that now the transformation has happened she's walking in as a new person i don't do method guys it'll drive me nuts i don't do method acting but this is the last stage of my prep buying that perfume so you know for the first uh, part of fukre i bought a perfume called provocative woman it had a very strong scent because it you know she is a provocative woman so i'm saying there are tools in the world that you can use makeup hair costume wo kisi aur ka hai nahi hai you can Obviously, you can give your suggestions, but when you choose a perfume, I'm essentially playing with a sense, right? We have sense of smell, taste, touch, hearing, and what else? Sight. The only sense you can actually play with is the sense of smell. That's why I buy the perfume <laughs> for every can, okay. and then you use them once I'm done. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, you did this show for Yash Raj. It was a limited TV series called Bang Baja Para. They can see on IMDb. Right? No, no, I'm not asking you about the show. I'm asking you uh, what drove you to do a show at that time, because you must have had foresight to see that there is a new kind of storytelling that doesn't belong on TV. It's not yet made it to the film. बट देर नो प्लेटफॉर्म इन इंडिया दैट टाइम तो आपको काफी लोगों ने हो सकता है डिस्करेज भी किया हो कैन यू टेल मी योर थॉट प्रोसेस अबाउट वाई यू चोज टू डू बैंक बाजा बारा वॉट वी यू थिंकिंग लाइक नॉट अबाउट स्क्रिप्ट ऑफ द मटीरियल जस्ट एज अंग कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डूइंग फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम आई वॉज एन एंग्री लाइक मैन यू नो यू हैव टू पे योर रेंट एंड फिगर आउट लाइफ ऑल्सो एंड सपोर्ट अ फैमिली एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स वो एंड I think somewhere along the way I realized, okay, I'm not gonna care. And in that, 
these few things start to happen in that during i think fukre was after that before that i don't know uh, before that oh and what what else i i also had tasted and started to see what was happening on the other side of the world in uh, on on the western side and i was uh, i was pretty fascinated i thought times are changing aur hamare yahan uska trickle effect aata hai hai na kuch saal baad hum sab jaagte hain hame lagta hai hum jaag rahe hain lekin wo ho gaya hoga abhi bhi वहां पे स्ट्राइक चालू है लेकिन इधर हमें कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है सो इट रियली डज मीन समथिंग दोस्ट गाइज आर आउट देर वी आर नॉट हमारा चल रहा है एंड विच इज फाइन बट द ट्रिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ दैट इज इवेंचुअली गोन कम एंड हेल्प अस इट्स द सेम स्टूडियो इट्स द सेम स्टूडियो नेटफ्लिक्स एमजॉन ऑल द बिग वन यू नो देर आर नेगोशिएटिंग ऑन द टेबल राइट नाउ एंड द सेम थिंग हैपन विद मिर्जापुर वेन इट केम Uh, and it was that was actually my next question because that proved to be a game changer. Yeah. It showed the world your true range. But I was in your life then, and I remember big directors telling you, "Ki, yar, tum kya kar rahe ho? Web series." Yeah, I mean, you know, again, I knew it's going to work. At least the format's going to work. I didn't know the show will work, uh, but I also liked the part a lot. I thought I could bring something to it. There was so much more than just. uh the first thing that attracts people which is this cosmetic uh you know attraction towards six packs and big bodies and you know bhai wala aisa thoda um uh, yeah i i wanted people to get inside this guy's head and i think that's the idea with all the parts that we uh, I, i try to play i have to um bring some honesty into it in that time it doesn't matter how so and i kind of thought about this a lot i have one last question for you please thank you what will make you happy as an actor today doing what will make you happy as an actor today bahut mushkil sawal hai no no doing what i can't imagine alone I, I, I don't. When I read something, when somebody gives me a script, and I, I, I can picture the whole thing. I, it's done. It's, it needs to have a team of, you know, so many people that it, it should leave me on. I don't know. Yeah, I, I like things that make my brain work, my imagination work, and I. you need people who can champion you who see the potential in you not for what you've done but what you can do and what you can bring to the table and i think that's uh that's what all of us actors are looking for artists are looking for artists everywhere